good options left in Syria. They're only bad and worse. And what I fear the most about Syria is the leave that you attended. It only gets worse all the time. Two years ago, we had some good options. We got involved with the opposition before Al Qaeda moved in and we're the on the road on recovery in Syria. Now we got those bad options and worse on the What I fear the most about Syria is that the chemical weapons we use in Syria today will come here tomorrow. No military involvement should involve one American soldier. They don't want us, we don't need to go. Uh, airstrikes to degrade the sides of delivery systems can change the tide of battle only if we will train and arm vetted opposition members. We can't do business with Al Qaeda, but there are plenty of Syrians who can. Syrian people didn't go against Assad to have Al Qaeda run the country. I don't buy that. If this war goes on another year, and Assad's still winning, our best ally in the region, the King of Jordan, will be opposed. This country is hanging by a thread. The Syrian war is about to take the King of Jordan out. Uh, Iraq, Lebanon, and Turkey could become uh, infected by this cancer called Syria. But the biggest fear of all for Senator Graham is that if we don't show resolve in Syria, we come up with a smart policy and bring Biden and Iran to March 20th. Iran is Syria's biggest ally, their best friend, they supply the weapons. Hezbollah is a Shia militia out of Lebanon, uh, that I worry about any chemical weapons out of Syria into Israel and the United States. You cannot reach in Syria without talking about Iran. This is a defining moment in world history and American history. If we don't get this right, the Iranians are the march for the nuclear weapon and the Israelis will surely try to stop it. Uh, so my hope is if we can find a bad way forward that does not involve American boots on the ground, but a strategy where people in the region can go control of Syria. The best outcome is a crash land. There are no good options left. The only thing worse than doing nothing would be, would, would be to have a weak response. The only thing worse than doing nothing would be a weak response would send a signal to our enemies and friends that we can no longer be counted on. So if the president is going to choose a weak, ineffective response, I cannot support that. I 